Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, but you can also call me Enigma. And welcome back to a brand new series for the channel here in 2020. Now for this inaugural episode of Roleplay, I thought it would be great to play one of my personal favorite board games, which is Betrayal at House on the Hill. Simply put, this game is meant for three to six people and tasks players with exploring an abandoned house, which just so happens to be up on a hill. Each player will assume the role of a character that has four unique attributes that can be raised and lowered throughout the entire course of the game. And if at any point through the game that one of a character's traits drops down to a skull level, well, they will die and subsequently be eliminated from the game. Now, the playfield itself is pretty simple. The house is divided into three unique floors, the basement, the first floor, and the second floor. Once the game begins, explorers will take turns moving throughout the house and ultimately randomizing the layout of the rooms on each floor. The game itself is divided into two phases, known as the exploration phase and the haunt phase. Players will work together in the initial exploration phase to uncover the secrets of each room, hopefully boost their attributes, and build the layout of each floor of the house. Each turn, players can move, discover new rooms, utilize item and omen cards, attempt a dice roll, and make one attack per turn after the haunt begins. Once an explorer reveals an omen room tile, they must draw an omen card, resolve the action, and then make a haunt roll to determine if the second phase of the game will begin. A successful haunt roll occurs when a player rolls six dice and manages to either equal or better the number of omen tiles that are currently in play on the board. This player becomes known as the haunt revealer and the second phase of the game begins. Once the haunt begins, an end game scenario is determined by which room tile the haunt revealer triggered the haunt in and which omen card they managed to pull. There are 50 different scenarios that can take place at the end of the game and usually involve splitting the players into separate teams of heroes and traitors or maybe something else. And finally, the first player or players to complete the winning conditions for their team will win the game and the end game adventure scenario is read aloud to the group. Now, there are a few little twists and turns with rules that are thrown in, but they will be explained throughout the course of our adventure. And uh, there are a few mistakes along the way, which will become apparent when you actually watch the video as we address them immediately. But still, I feel like our adventure was unique and fun and a blast all around. So without further ado, I present to all of you the inaugural episode of Roleplay, which is Betrayal at House on the Hill. All right, so, so welcome everyone to the first ever game night recording session. Um, tonight we are going to be starting off with Betrayal at the House on the Hill. And uh, very simple premise game. I went over the rules in the intro. We kind of watched a little video here, so uh, we should be good to go. And we might as well just start playing. Can we be the glasses squad? <laughs> Team glasses! <laughs> Oh yeah. So wait, all, so wait, so when we find the traitor, does that person have to take off their glasses and not be able to see? No, them? because if that's the case, no. I will be blind. I will be totally blind. So I. Mean, I that's what I heard. I, yeah. uh, okay, so we just determined who's going to go first by people's birthday. So it'll go Zach, and then we can go to the left. So me, MK, and then Jeremy will round out the group. But it's fine because I'll be the traitor, and then you can all kill me later. Okay, so I'm this dude. This must be MK. Who's the small Link Me. boy? And then this is Zach. Yeah. Okay. The small Link boy. Small Link. It kind of looked like Link or Link. Yes. Yeah, no, you're yes. Right. It's I not always, Zelda. Yeah. I always I always have to tell myself. You're the uh, objectionable Father Reinhardt who is somehow following a bunch of children into a hunt. I'm house. Father Reinhardt. Uh, I don't touch kids. Yeah. All right. So Zach, it is up to you. Uh, you don't need to roll any die yet, but not I guess yet. We'll leave these down here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's build a haunted house, everyone. Darren Flash Williams is going to exemplify his hillbilliness. I'm just going to dive on in. I'm, I'm going to actually go straight upstairs. Ooh. Yep. Uh, so then you'll... You know what, actually, no, that seems like I want to stretch across immediately. That's fine. I no, can so I want a room... Coming right. off the foyer. Ground floor. All right, what do we get? 
the ballroom. But it doesn't... Oh, no, wait. It does have a symbol. It has yeah, an event. It does so, have an event. So, yeah. so then you draw an event card. Bloody Vision. The walls of this room are damp with blood. The blood drips from the ceiling, down the walls, over the furniture, and into your shoes. In a blink, it's gone. You must attempt a sanity roll. All right, what's your sanity at? My sanity is three. Oh, I can't imagine a <laughs> country bumpkin like yourself has yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. This is stuff you don't see every day. <laughs> yeah. He works in the barn. He works with ah, the that could be a lot of blood. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> The first roll oh, is three no. blanks. So what's oh, that mean? Blank. If an explorer or monster is in your room or an adjacent one, you must attack it if you can. Thankfully, there's no monsters. We just so, started playing. Yeah. Good thing that's you didn't nice. just open a door next to us. Wow. Yeah. Alrighty. So that's just an event card, yes. Good start. Alright, so... I'm, I'm Father Reinhardt. <laughs> I'm an old priest that doesn't diddle kids. <laughs> My hobbies are fencing and gardening. Set, says the priest with four kids. Okay, now well, I feel like I need to drink. <laughs> Well, She's a chaperone. I guess I'm gonna go upstairs, but I only have three I'm movements. I'm Madame Zolstra. I'm not a chaperone. So one, two gets me upstairs, and then I'm gonna go to the left. And the room that I got is the research laboratory. <laughs> I want to see how long you keep that up. Kind of not fitting for a priest, if you know what I mean. But here we are. All right, we have another. We have another uh, event card: the voice. I'm under the floor, buried under the floor. The voice whispers once. Wait, you are buried under the floor, or is the voice buried under the floor? The voice is. So uh, they sounded attempt, very similar. I must, I must attempt a knowledge roll. Uh, four plus, I find something under the floor. Zero to three, I dig and I search for the voice, but to no avail. So under the floor of the upper landing. <laughs> yeah. So in the in the uh, the research laboratory. All right. Please let there be something at least. We need some. Uh, oh. So close. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. You guys suck. <laughs> well, I, I dig to search for the voice and there's nothing. All right, MK. Uh, the speed of three. I'm going to go off that way. You're going to go one room this way? Yep. All right. You have a ground floor. Coal shoot. I have a slide to the basement. <laughs> so basically, we have a spot to go to the <laughs> basement immediately and you're down here. Yep. Well, technically, there's no symbol here, so I think you can move again. Yep. Oh, okay. And you've only moved once, yeah. technically. So. so that was one down down there. So I guess I will go... South? Closer towards South? Zach. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, that's not a... Not oh, you're just, you're just going to dig through all these. Oh, no. Look how many we're getting rid of. Yeah. Is that good or bad? Wine <laughs> cellar. <laughs> uh, the wine cellar. And I cellar. get an item. Well, that's an easy item find. MK's in the basement just getting Yeah, drunk. I have a medical kit. <laughs> What? Medical kit. So once during my turn, I can attempt a knowledge roll to heal myself or another explorer that's in the same room. Jeremy, your turn. So. Where would you like to go? I'm going to just go straight to the left. Over this way? Yeah. All right. I want to stay as far away from the priest as I can. We have the game room. How appropriate. Mm. Which has an event in it. I want to put it. Oh, you want to put it? uh, This way. This way. You want to close yourself off away from me? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You are, you, oh, you, see. you're, you're seeing blood. You're on, you're on a, uh, a bearskin rug <laughs> in the middle of the room. Oh, this sounds oh, great. Oh, that kind of gaming. Yeah. yeah. The beckoning. Outside. You must get outside. Fly to freedom. Each explorer in the gardens, graveyard, tower, on the balcony, or in a room with an outside-facing window must attempt a sanity roll. Who has an outside-facing window? I don't I think, think we have any windows because these windows. are all doors. Yep. Yeah. And a window is like its own. I guess symbol. nothing happens yeah, then. Be like the staircase has windows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. What well, would have happened is on a three plus, you back away from the ledge. Zero to two, you jump to the patio. If it is in the house, search the room and set, put it in, um, and then you take one physical damage. So nothing happens. Cool. Yep. Well, so- I, I'm happy we're at least getting rid of some of these sketchy event cards yeah because if we had them for like dealing with monsters and stuff we were just worse. running and then yeah. you just have bad and then you jump happen. off the roof yeah it'd be worse all right all right flash uh, where are you going but you i'm gonna extend our house westward west mystic oh, no. elevator yes. oh boy here we go oh boy you, you oh, gotta do it that way, boy. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. But then, yeah. All right, so essentially, once per turn, roll two dice and move this room next to any open door on, and then if you roll a four, any floor, three is the upper floor, two is the ground floor, one is the basement, and zero is the basement, and then take one die of physical damage. <laughs> <laughs> so now I guess you roll. 
Do I have to roll it? Is that what's going on here? I think so, okay. yeah. Once Ooh. per turn, because you're, you're yeah. in it. Yeah, because right. you entered yeah. it. So. It's two dice? Yep. yep. Oh, boy. Don't roll zero like you always do. Oh, no. Hey, four. you rolled a four, so you can pick any floor you want to go to. In any room. Cool. And I'm going to bring it over here. You're going to the basement. Going to the basement. How would you know? You're upstairs. So that was... What? One... <laughs> <laughs> the voice is just me yelling at you from the floor below. Uh, I'll go my... <laughs> Actually, technically, I went out of the stairs and like went this way. So you are technically my closest. See? Nice. I was just yelling at you from the floor and confused you. <laughs> that is a hallway. Okay. Well, you can still move at the very least. Four. <laughs> well, wait. No. So you went one. Two. Two. Three. three. Okay. So yeah, you still have some... The creaky hallway. <laughs> <laughs> How many hallways does this house have? Uh, the basement has a lot. <laughs> I'll have to decide where I'm going first, right? Uh, yeah. For let's see. How do we want to set this up? I'll bring it back. To, I'll bring it back towards. I was myself. gonna say we can always move stuff closer yeah. if it's getting out of. The servants' quarters. All, All right. right, we have something happen. At least it's a room. Oh no, it's an oh, omen. Uh oh. Uh oh. So this will be the first haunt roll. Madman. Companion. <laughs> a raving, frothing madman. Gain two might and lose one sanity now. Lose two might and gain one sanity if you lose custody of the madman. No. This omen can't be can't be dropped, traded, or stolen. Make a haunt roll. I, I uh, knew that... I, like, I actually knew of this card's existence. Like, I've seen it so in other people's Gain two players. might. Lose my limited amount of sanity. <laughs> I live in... Just sort of like a little roll six dice. Really just bringing out the uh, the hillbilliness. Yeah, there is a, a character for the madman. Is um, there? I think so. I got... Because it's a specific piece. I don't see it here. Oh my god! <laughs> my <laughs> god! Alright. So There's no way! We have to start the haunt now! Yeah. So now, Zach, you have to look at the front table of this and tell us what the haunt is. Oh <laughs> my god. And well, the traitor. That lasted long. What's even worse though is, we only have one crow. All you had to do was roll at oh, least huh? one on the six die. Oh, yeah, the even... haunt chart. Oh, that's because you, 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 have, you, you have the haunt chart. Oh, oh right. you have the haunt chart. <laughs> Sorry, what room are we in? Uh, the, the servants', servants quarters. quarters. All right. And there's only one. Well, note to itself, don't let Zach ever roll. Wow, that's that unbelievable. Is... You had six opportunities to at least roll a one. And the madman? Yeah. All right, yeah. so we're number 31, dice. which means... Yeah, there's only two. <laughs> oh, the traitor is no one. Oh. Let's see the secrets of survival. We get a unique scenario. What? So your secrets of survival, so go to 31, and let's see what it says. Are we all on the same team? That'd be cool. That'd be it would be better than, I guess... You have to read it out side. loud, all and right. if you mess up any words, we're going to make fun of you. <laughs> Our scenario is called Airborne. Oh no! <laughs> that just doesn't sound good. I'm no, glad I'm right next no, to the, the entrance. Not. I'm on the top floor. Well, hello there and welcome back to this intermission portion of our video. While our group was recording this board game live, uh, we had some minor interruptions during the haunt reveal phase. So I just figured it would be a little bit easier for me to read the actual scenario to all of you and give it a nice cinematic flair. <clears throat> so, our unique endgame scenario is entitled Airborne. A deafening shriek leaves you reeling. A second later, the house seems to crumple and then jerk into the air. But that would be crazy. You rush to the window and see the madness is true. A bird the size of a 747 is carrying the house in its talons, presumably to feed its monstrous brood somewhere. Beneath you, the ground gets farther and farther away. If you are going to live, you need to get out of this house fast, but you need some way to survive the fall. You remember one of your friends mentioning some parachutes they stumbled over. You just need to find one. There might not be enough for everyone, but surely the others would agree that you deserve one. Now, with that being our end game scenario, there are a few elements that take place that do kind of change the dynamic of the game, so I will read those to you right now. Our group was required to set aside a number of pentagonal item tokens equal to half the number of players rounding down. 
These represent the parachutes, so since we were playing with four people, only two parachutes are in play. We have to remove any basement tiles in the house, and if any explorers are in the basement, put them in the mystic elevator and put that tile beside any ground floor door. What you know about the bad guys? This haunt has no traitor. Only heroes. Even so, only some of you can survive. You win when you exit the house with a parachute. Heroes who do not find a parachute are killed. Finding a parachute. Heroes can still explore the house and find new rooms. They cannot enter the basement, however. Several parachutes are hidden throughout the house, and you can only search for a parachute by making a knowledge or speed roll of four plus in any room with an omen symbol. If you succeed on this roll, take a parachute token and put it on your character card. Only one parachute can be found in any given room. You cannot move any farther on the turn once you find or steal a parachute, and you can only carry one parachute at a time. Now there are some special attack rules. You can steal a parachute from another hero by attacking with might or tricking your opponent with knowledge. Unlike the normal rules for stealing items, you can take the parachute if you win by one or more. The loser does not take any damage. The attacker's turn then ends whether or not the attack was successful. You can attack other heroes to inflict damage instead of stealing a parachute using the normal rules. A dead hero carrying the parachute drops it, and any other hero can pick it up. Heroes can slow each other as if they were monsters. Exiting the house. Once you have a parachute, you can exit the house. To do this, move to the entrance hall, balcony, tower, coal chute, or collapsed room, and spend one space of movement. Then make a knowledge roll to make sure you know how it works, or a sanity roll to psych yourself up of four or more. On a success, you exit the house safely. Now those appear to be our only rules for our version of the haunt. I will be back at the end of the video to greet you with a proper outro. Goodbye. <laughs> it's funny oh, wow. because here I am, I brought the vlog camera for the trader to go use. <laughs> And we don't even have a trade. We just play it twice. Like we could, yeah, yeah, depending on how long this takes. I mean, we're still gonna have to explore the house. Yeah. All right, so that was Zach. It is your turn now. Okay, so <laughs> I guess I'm just that. exploring. I um, cannot believe I rolled a zero off six die. That is unbelievable. Each die only has a third of a chance, like chance to get blank, and you manage to do it with six dice. Yep. Oh no! Off of the research laboratory, I found an operating laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> For another event. All of the lab laboratories are up top. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Just says drip, drip, drip. A rhythmic sound that needles at your brain. Put the drip token in this room. Each explorer rolls one fewer die, minimum of one, on all trait rolls while in this room. Okay, so that just means that we have a less chance... Of doing something of again. succeeding that was like a one in 729 chance there's some, some wow. absurd number i'm sure like, i'm sure yeah, so we'll just, we can just when this gets posted yeah. somebody will do the somebody math. will so yeah and that was an event so i guess that's my turn where would you like to go um young traveler you can just jump out the coal chute and just end it all no <laughs> let's go straight this way now come over here all right so you're going here yep okay sanctuary corridor or a statuary corridor. And we could shift all this over since we can't have a basement anymore. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll move that over. Oh no. The house is moving before my feet. I mean, yeah. it definitely okay. is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the scenario yeah. we're in. All right. Disquieting sounds. A baby's cry. Lost and abandoned. A scream. The crack of breaking glass. Then silence. Roll six die if you roll equal to... Or more than the number of omens that have been revealed, you gain one sanity. If not, take one mental die. Oh, yeah. That's convenient. <laughs> so there's no omens. There's one. There's one omen. There's technically one Just omen. Just mine. Yeah. Oh, see, see Zach, oh. that's how you're supposed to roll? Yeah. See yep. how there's more than More than a blank one? face on a die? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I gain yeah. one sanity. That's Shit. really useful for this uh, scenario. So that's good. I'm going to go south because I can. Organ room. Oh, are you uh, stuck? How... Um, Tesla's kind of stuck behind the green screen. <laughs> Can I move this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mess, like, it, well, he's, he's, he's over there. here. Oh, Tesla. Okay. Tesla. How did you even get over there? Okay. I saw him go out up there at one point, but... 
Yes, sir. Come here. All right. Uh, so how do you want this facing? Do you want it to be uh, well, an animal and have it face towards the front door where we're painting? I'm kind of thinking about it. You can if you want to. Yeah, let's do that. All right. <laughs> Uh, and then this is that an effect of means it's an end, though. You can't actually go this yeah. way. Yeah. Why not? I mean, Cause technically... Cause because that's in the way. It. You can't go in that's front of the front Well, door. fine. Then rotate it. <laughs> okay, so... Do you want it going this way, or would you rather have... Oh, it has to go that way. Yeah. Debris. Also known debris? as debris. <laughs> Blaster falls from the walls and <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you must attempt a speed roll. Three plus, you dodge the plaster, gain one speed. One to two, you're buried in debris, take one die of physical damage. Zero, I'm really buried, take two dice of physical damage. How many are you rolling? I have a four for my speed. All right. Let's pull a Zach and get a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to gain one speed. Hey, Because I'm a quick boy. <sighs> Look at that small child run. Not that I'm paying attention. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that behind. I mean... <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going upstairs. You, yes, gonna, join me, young man. You're going to have to die. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! How dare uh, you? Coming down. Okay. Oh, look, you got another omen. So uh, you got to do the gymnasium. Oh, there could be a parachute there. So, how do you want it to go? Do you want it to go this way or this way? Um, You'll be separated from me either way, so you won't have to deal with creepy old man. All right, so you have to make the no, roll. No, what does no. it say? Well, he has to do the omen so first. So he has to do the yeah. omen first and then follow well, the Well, no, there's, I don't think there's any omens anymore. There's Isn't not? It? Oh, if it just has an omen symbol, you can search You can roll it. for the parachute. Yeah. I don't know. Do we still do omens at this point? I don't think so. Because yeah, usually the omens are what uh, stop, start the haunt. Yeah. You don't make further haunt rolls. Well, okay, but you do you go. do still activate the omens and stuff. Okay, yeah. so we do still have to, to do those. Got it. Ring. A battered ring with an incomprehensible inscription. If you attack an opponent that has a sanity trait, you can attack with sanity instead of might. Your opponent then defends with sanity and the damage is mental instead of physical. That's lame. What the hell? That actually helps me. So now yeah. you can do a knowledge or speed roll if you want to look for a parachute. Speed it is. <laughs> I'm not worried. And you, yeah, you only do... You have to do, no, four, you do four more. No, well, no, 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 no. He rolls six. his speed, so he rolls six. He oh! Speed six, but he has to get a four. Oh, uh, okay. okay. But so it's hard. Sacked. So, so hard for you. <laughs> so hard. Since I managed to roll zero That's... the last time. Yeah. Six. That was unbelievable. Uh huh. He yeah. goes two for two. This is going to be totally great. crazy. No, he got it. Okay. So you, so you get one of the items. Okay. Take, take the parachute there, uh, Flash. Put it on your. Okay. All right, let's get him. I'm going to have to knowledge that, or sanity that parachute all over your ass and take it from you. You mm -hmm. can't sanity me. Yeah, you can. That's okay. part, of, part of the rules is you can make a knowledge check against them you to, can... like, pretty much charm the person to no, give the parachute. Can... No, 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 no. Me. If you're attacking, you have to use your strength. If or you're sense. defending. Or no. But he has a ring. I thought it no. was if you were no. defending. So that's a special thing that we don't care about because he's never going to use it. Oh. Oh, okay. But There's you, a special rule. Yeah. Oh, or to, okay. You pretty much charm the pants off of them and say, oh, I would really like that. Okay. And then you, you just me. go. Yeah. Not charm me. Yeah. Don't yeah. charm me. So you can use my order. Uh, definitely <laughs> don't charm me. The priest okay. has charmed many young yeah. folks. Yeah. Definitely go with the trick rather than the charm. In the church. I mean, one's a surprise and one, yeah, at least you know it's coming. Oh, one's a surprise, all right. Yeah. It's under my robe. Yeah. We, okay, uh, just go. We want the trick, not the treat, okay? <laughs> This is going to get banned on YouTube, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, good luck. Uh, I'm getting out of this house. <laughs> I want you to get out of this house and then not open the and parachute. Plummet to the <laughs> so here's the problem, though. You have one turn. To get I time. can't get this, a parachute from the same omen room? No. Okay, so it has to be so, a unique omen. Yeah, room. your options are you can go and try to attack, attack him, him, or you can hope that the next one's an omen. Now, we do uh, stop movement like a monster does, so if we get in his way, he has to stop in our square. Yeah. Which is good because he's going to be trying to get back to the he has, hall. Uh, he is a quick lad. Yeah, he can move by five or six. Six, so I would escape on the next turn. <laughs> Unless we do okay. something. <laughs> okay. Group consensus? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're all heroes here. <laughs> I mean, we're all heroes. <laughs> but what's the name of that one suit of 51 video game? Heroes can die? Heroes never die? Die heroes? I know what you're talking about. Aaron, Google it in post. We'll put it up on the screen right now. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's a, it's a suit of 51 game. Um, I guess I have to stop him. I'm going to beat 
wholesale ass on an old. But he can. But see, the problem is he can kill me. Yeah. Well, you can also steal it from him. Just knowledge him and yeah, take it away. His knowledge is only him. one more than mine. Yeah, so it's not like it's that impressive. <laughs> yeah, but it's Zach, so he rolls like shit. Yeah, <laughs> but see, then the problem is he's going to go before me again, and he can just take it right back from me, and he can take the So shit it sounds like you guys just need to fight each other to death. You and I for one parachute, lad. <laughs> or, I guess. Or, or just hug the whole time you're, you're going down. Oh, I wouldn't <laughs> hug him. The nope. priest doesn't mind. No. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, because otherwise you're escaping, so I guess I have to do it. So, what do, we, what do I do? I have to you roll. can either knowledge or might him. Are you tricking him or are you attacking him? So I'm going to try to trick. I'm going to try to trick the young lad. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> so essentially, I just walked up to you and I went, Excuse me, young lad. We're up in the air. I need that parachute so I can live and you die. And you went, no. And I went, fair enough. So how would the damage, because he lost No, there's that. no damage. There's though. no damage. So He just tries oh, to take it from you. Steal. Yeah, I just failed. Yeah. But the problem is, now, since I'm in the same room as you, do you have to, like, get past me? You stole me down by one, I think is how it works. Okay. So I, don't, I don't know exactly. We might need to review that. Because then that's the only other thing that I've done. You, you want to look, Aaron, and then I'm taking... You Review know. time. Yeah, yeah, I can look. It's in this... It's moving past opponents right there. Moving past opponents. Um, hmm. I'm going to go back to the ballroom and up one. Ooh. Oh, I thought you were going, like, upstairs. Never mind. So she's actually exploring. Charred room. And I get a gnomon. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Medallion, a medallion inscribed for the pentagram. I am immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard. Okay. All right, so now I get to make a, is it knowledge or speed? Knowledge. Knowledge. Four. Don't roll a zero like Zach and I did. Huh. No, I feel like this is like cursed. Maybe I don't want to <laughs> <side. laughs> Oh, no. Well, well, you rolled a two. So yeah, so I find don't it. find one. Um, okay. So nothing happens. Well, yeah. so what was the movement rules? For each opponent in a room with it, after the haunt starts, an explorer or a monster must use one extra space of movement to leave that room. Heroes slow down the traitor and monsters and vice versa. So in this case, heroes can slow down heroes. Yeah. No matter how many penalties you have in a turn, you can always move at least one space. This is also true if a monster rolls a zero for movement. Uh, stun monsters don't slow an explorer's movement in any way. So essentially, I'm just like... Don't leave the room! And you're like, I'm leaving. And I go, okay! <laughs> that brief explanation allows you to leave. Down one yeah, spot just one, one turn. So technically, you are you can go out of the house. No, <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess that's the best chance that we have. Come here, Flash. So Jasper one, needs your kneecaps. Two. I go down. So that's three? Yep. No, wait. Technically, this is one space. Is it? Yeah, they're I think the same so. space. So you would be one to leave, but technically you're at two because it spent an extra one. So then you're at two here. So it would be three, three four, four. Five. Oh, then he can just get out. Yeah. Oh, I wish. Well, no, I, I, I thought those were two separate yeah. spaces. Oh, okay. But you still need to well, complete to roll? the sanity or yeah. knowledge. Or sanity or... Sanity or knowledge? Well, knowledge roll. Which I know no, how those it's, rules it's work. Sanity or speed? It's knowledge roll or a sanity check. You have to make a knowledge roll to see if you know how to use the parachute or a sanity to psych yourself up. Uh oh. <laughs> and you have to get a four or more. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> so essentially, what he's done is oh, no. he's taken a parachute, he has the potential to jump out and go, wait, how do I use this? And then just smash it into the ground yeah. Yeah. and waste a parachute. I don't know that I'm going to get a better chance than this, though. You, but I don't want the game to be over for me. <laughs> you have to. I feel like you, you can just have give to me the parachute. I know, I have to do it. So I, I enter here and I go, fuck you, little kid. And I jump out the coal chute. <laughs> Why should you just go out the front door? They're the same thing. It's way cooler to go down the coal chute. You just go sliding out. Essentially, there's no basement to the house. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, you go down the chute into air, like open air. I'll roll these one at a time. All right. Oh, Make boy. it more suspenseful. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So you have three, I have die? three knowledge. Oh my god! Does the hillbilly know how to use the parachute? <laughs> and what do you have to roll? A I like four. that you're 
you're doing knowledge and not sanity. They're My the sanity went down. Yeah, oh. sanity's at two. He's, so a, he's a madman. Right, right. Does your madman go with you and then just like flail in the air? No, he just looks down? at the chute and goes, "What the fuck did he do?" <laughs> uh, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, 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 baby! Have to roll a four. Yeah. You have to roll two twos. All right, we have to roll these at the same time then. You have to roll two twos. You don't want to roll one at a time and just there really. Only a- there's, oh, there's only there's no it's only two so it's, it's only one and three two. so there's a one in nine chance that I make this. <laughs> Your madman right now is tipping his top hat to you, just like good luck, sir. I fell, I yanked on the first cord and nothing happened. <laughs> so you you Uh-oh. were yeah you were just reaching for the card and you went where's the card? Oh no! No, this is the backup shoot. Oh no! Uh. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> and you plummet to your death. <laughs> Can I read that if I if you lose? Oh my god. If you lose, your so called friends have Oh no, no. Oh no, I've won, but I've technically still lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're just yeah. the uh, biggest loser. So what I'm gonna do, look into the camera. Oh no! Look into the camera and give me one of these. Can you read whatever oh no is? <laughs> it's more fun if one of us wins and then we'll Okay. Alright. Well, good luck, guys. Yeah. So, we have three people fighting for one parachute. And we have an omen room that we can go explore again. Uh, no, but these have already been used. No, no she hasn't not. found anything in Oh, she hasn't. Okay, so the, the charred room then... Can still have a parachute I mean, for it. me, it's probably better to explore up top, though. Unless she gets it, and then we yeah. have to fight her. Um, fight me, bro! <laughs> well, then, in that case... I was just going to go start wailing on her. Because you can't make it to her in one, one turn. So. And also... If I choose to go down, I can't find an omen room. That's right. the other problem. So I feel like my best shot is to try to just... Yeah, but then you guys are still downstairs and can block me. Unless you find the balcony. True. You can escape from one of the tower True. or the balcony. True. So, yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna keep exploring up top. And then I will go well, here, don't straight. Move right. right? If, you move, if you go to this one next to the gymnasium, that's one less spot you're moving. Oh, well, True. In well, case you find, like, a hallway, you yeah. get to... Yeah, okay. I mean, I get that it's gonna start getting a little... little... Oh, fuck! This... Oh, my God! This what is did what... You find? This is what plagued me the last time we played the junk <laughs> room. <laughs> but it's an omen. It's so an omen. It's an omen, so I have a chance, but... Oh, fuck! Right, so you're your about to lose some price. kneecaps if you get this. Fuck me. Okay, so the mask. A somber mask to hide your intentions. The priest loves the mask. Oh no! Uh, once during your turn, you can attempt a sanity roll to use the mask. So four plus, I can put on or take off the mask. If you put on the mask, I gain two knowledge and lose two sanity, which for me would actually benefit me. Let's see. Uh, if you take off the mask, gain two sanity, lose two knowledge, and then zero to three, I cannot use the mask. So essentially, I would just get an extra point. Like, two extra points of knowledge, and I'd lose one insanity. Which would be good, because all the rolls are knowledge rolls, really. Yeah, so that would be better for me. I need to do a sanity roll. So I need Well, six. before you do your san... Or are you doing the sanity roll? That's on... His junk room's an exit thing, Yeah. so... What? Yeah, if I leave the room, I must oh, attempt wait, a might okay. roll of three plus, which would suck because my might is two. <laughs> so <laughs> essentially, I'm stuck in here Stay trying to find a parachute. I, I hope you find a parachute because then we have to come in there with you. Yeah, so then it's just going to be a group of people everywhere. fighting in junk yeah. for a parachute. This is to see if I put on the mask okay. for this turn. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that one rolled off. You got But I, it, doesn't it doesn't matter doesn't anyway. Matter, yeah. So... I'm wearing a, a skin mask now that I have from an old shaman oh. in the desert. Where did we get the skin from? Yeah, a shaman in the desert. is horror-inducing. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm wearing a mask now. Okay, so I lose two sanity, which puts me down to five, but I gain two knowledge, which puts me... I thought you only lost two. one sanity. Nope, two for two. I said two for two. Equivalent to The exchange. number, I think, only goes down one for him. Mm. Alchemy, yeah, because oh, like I have two saying. fives here. Okay. Uh, so now I need to roll... Knowledge to get to find a, a parachute, yeah. but I get to roll six, and I need to get a four in order to get a parachute. Yeah, there's no way you could get less than four on six dice. Yeah, so no way. It's impossible. There's no way. Okay, so I found the other parachute. Guess we know where we're going. All right. 
Come fight me in the junk room, children. I'm Actually, not a child. Yeah, you're I'm not a child. Yeah, that's why you're not attracted to her. I'm don't, an old one. Don't touch me. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? 37. 37, so yeah, you're not. Don't touch me, middle aged one. <laughs> Uh, so now it's your well, turn. Well, we know that's yeah. in the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on her going on. Well, because I'm Madame Zostra, so... Yeah. <laughs> You're going to say Zostra is a gypsy name? Is that what we're... Yeah, that, yeah. um, I'm gonna yeah, go to the say she's a psychic. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about that. Go what? To the, oh, the elevator. So now she has the elevator, so you need to roll two die. And get a three you, or a four. Yeah, get a three what or a four. What if you get the basement? Nothing. You just die? Just the elevator falls out of the <laughs> Okay. You can stay on the ground floor. But you can move to any spot with, with yeah. an open door. So technically, you can... Just move. I Go guess stay there? Over there, or stay there. Yeah, so I'll just leave it there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the elevator like went around the house and then right back into its normal spot. So it doesn't cost me more to move into that room with you, right? It only costs, it would cost me more to get out? Correct. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three. I can get to your room. Kick his ass. You can come into the Mystic Elevator and try to move it. No, I want to beat him up. <laughs> okay. I... Kick his ass. What is it, a might roll? Um, it's uh, you either... can do you, might you, or you, knowledge. You I'm going to beat you up. Okay, so I get two. I'm punching you. Kneecaps. How many do you have? Uh, four. Dude, just go for the penis. Like. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm headbutting you. I have... So Whoa. I actually... Whoa! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. No, okay. Maybe not with the head. Jokes <laughs> on you. I was chemically castrated years ago. Oh my god. I was just say my guy plays it hockey. It still hurts even if it's chemical He actually castration. has he actually has rollerblades and he's just skating in full speed <laughs> like. You're like come at me, boomer. That's a, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm not, not even, I'm not even gonna roll. Yeah. I'm not even gonna well, roll. you have to because I can. I'm doing damage to you oh, too. Right. Oh yes. fuck! No, no, because you, are you stealing or are you da damaging? Oh, is it stealing? It's stealing okay, so stealing thing. won't do any damage, yeah. but if you you can just straight up attack him and try to kill him. Oh, well, kill an old man over a parachute? No, I'm just gonna take it then. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, young man. <laughs> I thought it said you just do the normal attack rules. You, and you then... can choose. You, you can, can either steal choose or you can... to do damage. Yeah, it's like okay. if you don't want to keep stealing it back and forth, you just punch him in the face until he stops moving. Well, yeah. can I please yeah. have that parachute? Give me the parachute. Okay, you can. Have it. <laughs> Just, just remember who outmuscled you. A young boy. <laughs> yes, like he actually gets the token. I'll never forget it. Well, I just had it in the room. Well, now it's on my character board. Yeah. How dare you? And I'm still falling, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to trick you for that parachute, young boy. This is knowledge. This is knowledge, and I've got a six. God damn it. So. Well, I got a one. <laughs> it's gonna be us going back and forth. Okay, I think I beat that. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, young lad, that looks heavy. Let You're like, that was very me. rude of you. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> Give sorry. me the parachute. <laughs> All right. And now you, there was only, you could only find two, so. And yeah. now I attempt to leave, but I can only move three spots. And I lose one of those because you're in the room with me. And I also have to roll a might roll of three plus. Uh, but I only have two die. Yeah. This is just gonna be a. It's gonna, gonna be an orgy in the junk stuck. room. It's, it's gonna be whoever to... doesn't get killed. Okay, I don't want to enter there. Ah oh, <laughs> no! The Two? junk room is gonna kill you. So now yeah. what sucks is I lose a speed. one speed, but I don't. I can't. You can continue moving. So that was one try. Yeah. But I get one more chance to move. But the only see this is how I don't. No, know. you can always move one. But the problem is, he's in here. No, but even if he slows oh, you, you can always yeah. move one. Okay, so I can get out of here then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I have a mask. Oh, I didn't do my mask roll. It's only, you you to. To. It's, only it's only if you want to. It's only if you want to. You're already oh, okay. wearing it. Yeah, so it doesn't... Uh, okay, so now I just need to roll two to try to get out again. Wait, well, no, no. No, you already you, did that. It says when exiting. So you just... You can leave. Yeah, but I wasn't... We determined that I could try to leave again. Okay, no. So when exiting... What has this for you? When exiting, you must attempt a might roll of fear plus. If you fail, you lose one speed, but continue moving. So that's why I was trying to leave. Yeah. So you, can so move you one. tried you to leave. To, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So I can actually just leave the room. Yes. Yeah, but, yes. you, oh, but yeah. Okay. that's all you can. Yeah, that's as far as you can go. Awesome. Oh, but it says once per turn or once per game, if you end 
in the gym, I gain one speed. Okay, so now you gain. So now I'm back up to <laughs> three speed. Yeah. Back on up. Well, to my normal, so yeah. which is still three, and now it's MK's turn. Get him. She can't. Well, no, she could. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be. Unfair. She could end here and then just go. Fuck you. Give me this. Give me this parachute. Yeah. Oh, okay. So one, so you, two, three. So I'm coming into here with you. Oh. You get a speed. Shit. You end your but turn there. What's your speed at? Uh, my speed is three. Yeah. So Why? you're you're stuck in here then. So now <laughs> just you. Be the so now you and I have to roll. I'm fighting you. I should have You're done fighting? that. I would have killed him. Are you are you stealing or fighting? I'm trying to decide here. What's your might? Two. Two. I would have killed him if I rolled might. I think so yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. That's oh. why I said thank you. <laughs> it's just gonna be this small child murdering people in the house. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. And then I'm gonna be too scarred from I killing everyone that I'm gonna not be able to open my parachute. I was gonna say yeah, you can take out oh, anyone okay. because I need. I need to. Uh. Just gonna try to fight me, me, bro. I knew it. I, knew it. Uh, I didn't even have to. Oh no. Oh. So it's only three damage. So you take three physical, physical damage. damage. Well, he only takes two because he rolled one, right? No, I rolled four. She rolled four. Oh, yeah, I can't do math. Yeah, so I go to two. You need to split it up in a And then I go down to speed. Way. The reason why I did that is because I still have two and two. Okay. Oh! You can make one. You can move one. Spot. You bitch! <laughs> So I ended my turn in there, so I gained one speed, right? Well, that you took the parachute, right? No. She, no. She oh, no, you're just, oh, so you're just, just trying to kill me. I just fought you, hey! yeah. I will bite this parachute so I get rid of it so nobody can have it. All right, all right, Jeremy. Uh, I have to get out of here. What do I have to do? Make a might, might check? Make a speed. No, a might roll of three. Yep, three plus. So however many speed. That's Back all there. of it. So, yeah, you I'm going into the gymnasium. <laughs> What's your speed there, old man? Two. I'm going to fight Madame Zostra. Oh, what a twist. Sure. Are you might fighting? I am might fighting. <laughs> I, Why? Because <laughs> if I can lower you and you're both lowered. I, I have, have a healing kit, though. I can heal myself. If you can get a good knowledge. What's your knowledge? My knowledge is four. She's kind of like base good in all areas. Yeah, I'm... So am I. I'm average. I don't care. All right. Uh-oh. Four. And I got a three, so nothing. So... Actually... I think or do I you take, take one? damage, don't Yeah, you? you take You take one, one damage. I'm ending damage. in gymnasium, so I'm just going to say nothing happens. Yeah, okay. so nothing happens. Yeah, because once per game. So none of us can use the gymnasium token again. So now it's your turn. I need to oh. run! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I can only move two, but it cost me two to get out of the room, so I just... Huh, I'm on the stairs! <laughs> You're just going to tumble down. <laughs> if you fight, can you still move afterwards? I think you have to end, don't you? It's an action. Like an event. What do you mean? Like, if she were to fight you, does she get to keep going? Oh. Well, she didn't have any more movement. Well, no, I mean, this turn, she's thinking she can get to you. I'm wondering oh. if I can get to you, attack. Fight, and then move. Yeah. Yeah, so you can perform actions such as using an item or attacking in the middle of your movement. Okay, in so the I middle So I could attack it. you, Take steal it, it, and then run. And then leave. <laughs> yeah. Just remember, you're gonna lose two points of movement. Yeah. You know. And yeah. see, essentially, I'm screwed because there's probably going to be no way that I can get speed back. So you guys are always just going to be able to catch me. Yeah, right. You, you've lost. Yeah, so I've essentially lost. He uses one to be in here. Yep. Two to come over here. <laughs> Kill him. Well, it, Kill him. you would have left with one. And well, no, it's one because he's I'm in there. there. Yep. And then one to move. So that's yeah, two. Yeah. So you're two here. So you could essentially move. Uh. I can move down the stairs. Yeah. Three, four, out if I kill you. Because oh. you won't slow me. Oh, you have. <laughs> I, I only five. thought you had. Oh, okay. I only thought you had three. But you so actually, up. I don't even need to kill you. Technically not. I you could just, just steal it and run. Steal it and run. But what kind of. But no, because then he would slow you, right? No. Well, even if he slows me, I get out, though, because I have five. Yeah. One, two. Because this is four, five. No, because this no. is the same. One, it is. two, three. Well, it takes a movement three, to leave a room. Four, five. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, right. Okay, so no, I do have to kill you. Fight me, bro! <laughs> I need some oh, no, which I means, kill which you. means you wouldn't have been able to leave because that it should be. These are two separate spaces. I thought they counted as the same. I don't think Well, they then did. I wouldn't have gone up the cold stairs. Well, it that. would have mattered. You would have been stuck in my square. You wouldn't have been able to leave. Back well, we back can look there. that up afterwards. It's too late now. Yeah. You're already dead. Yeah, yeah, I'm already dead. It's fine. I was oh, gonna, I was gonna take you out of the kneecaps, anyways. So this was yours. That's mine. So I got three. So you take two damage. You are dead. I'm dead. Yes. Wait, I take two damage. Yeah. You yeah, I'm dead. dead. <laughs> I'm dead yeah. either way you take. 
You killed an old man over a parachute. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> So oh now, no, I die! You no longer slow me, I can escape. Okay, and then I have to make a... Oh, no. <laughs> You're leaving yeah. a small child. Do you feel any guilt? Nope. <laughs> wow. None. Wow. So I can make a knowledge or a sanity, which... I would my do My sanity is five, yeah. so... <laughs> Psych myself up for using this. Yeah. So you're just like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I can do it. I can fucking do it. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> Oh, you did. You did. I saw a lot of ones. I was like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine everybody died? So, wait, I get fed to the birds, right? Yeah. 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 I'm not going to be so, much for the birds. If yeah. it's a giant 737 Here's the, bird. If you win. So, and just to be clear, though, you're the only one who yeah. won. Yes. Won. The rest of us are dead. Yes. Yeah. You by dead. falling. I'm by, the, <laughs> by Madame Zostra, and you're dead by bird. I'm yeah. an idiot because I couldn't figure out how to open the fish. So, parachute. if you win... She just lands and there's just a flat, flash body. Uh, the air rushes past you like a hurricane. With a flood of relief, you feel your parachute open above you and you fall slow. Then you hear a flapping noise. Looking up, you see some tears in the fabric of the chute. A few of the ropes seem tangled, too. Perhaps the chute got damaged in all the fighting, but for now it seems to be okay. The tears don't seem to be getting any bigger. Not yet, anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> so you could be dead for all we know. So that if you lose, your so-called friends have left you to be food for the chicks of this demonic bird of prey. That's me. On the other hand, maybe if you landed on another human body, you'd survive the fall. Your friend there, over there, looks pretty soft. <laughs> I'm using you as my parachute. <laughs> So you just grab the <laughs> Oh my god! I left you a body. <laughs> so wait, could you just picture a, a small child carrying an old priest just on his dragon. shoulder? I just have to drag you to the front door. I don't need to carry you. Oh my god. Just you're you're on the stairs just... already. Right. Yeah, just push you down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's dark. Wow. Well, wasn't that a fun little game? It appears as if only one explorer managed to make it out of the house. Young MK portraying Madame Zostra, the psychic that murdered the old priest, was the only one to make it out of the house alive. Unfortunately, Darren Flash Williams got a little too exuberant once he found a parachute and he made his quick escape out the coal chute of the house, only to realize he didn't know how to use his parachute. Presumably, he fell thousands and thousands of feet below to the harsh, unforgiving ground, only to splatter like wily e. coyote on the desert rocks. And as for the child in the house, Brandon Jaspers, he ran out of options and had to use a dead body, presumably killing himself in the process. Through all the mistakes, through all the laughter, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed this series, go ahead and feel free to leave it a like. And why don't you subscribe to the channel? I hear that's a good way of checking up to see more of the videos that you enjoy from yours truly. So with all that being said, my name is Aaron, but you can also call me Enigma. And just be careful if you explore any abandoned houses that may be up on hills. Goodbye.